Hi guys, my name is PK from Almost Inevitable Design and this course is about SAS. Now SAS is uh, a CSS, well you can see right here, it is right, right, <laughs> where? This is so confusing, oh, right there, right there. Oh, that was hard. All right, so SAS is the most mature, stable, and powerful professional grade CSS extension language in the world. That doesn't mean much until I tell you, until, until I explain what that is. So it is a way that you can write some CSS resembling code and it will compile and spit out vanilla CSS. Now we can actually assign it so it will spit out minified CSS. So you got that down by writing directly in this in the SAS file, you can actually come out with minified CSS, so that's cool. Um, another thing is it has a lot of cool things that CSS does not have. So it becomes a really comprehensive, and it's like, a, like, like they say, professional grade CSS language, CSX, CSS um, extension language. I mean, I, I keep quoting that thing, <laughs> that way. Which way? That way, yeah, I keep quoting that thing, um, but it has things like macros, they're called mix-ins, but uh, macro, you can actually just write one line and you can change things throughout the whole site or on that, uh, um, what is it, on that selector, it'll do like complicated calculations for you. Um, you can also have uh, a set of variables and once you go through, once you change those variables, everything on the site can change, like everything, like sizing, uh, colors, everything you can change everything with a few uh edits in the code um you can also make really uh minute you can make media queries really quickly just put them in there like whatever like it's it, as opposed to writing because if you start writing them and then start putting them together it becomes a mess it's a lot easier to handle with this way um you can actually put all the selectors together that follow the same rules and then compile them so it's very well organized. You can have type settings done in one go and then add everything together. There's a lot of things that you didn't even think about when you were writing CSS directly that you can do here that will just change your life. I guarantee it'll change your life because it has changed my life. And what I'm gonna be teaching you is not just writing SAS. It's not just the syntax that I'm gonna be teaching. It is actually um, a whole folder that I always use in real life production. It is a folder that I've been putting together over the past few years. Um, I've changed it constantly and now I have a really good library and I'll be, I'll be changing it again in the future, but I have a really good library that I'm gonna walk you through with all the macros, they're called mix-ins, like I said, all the mix-ins and all the variables, everything in there which really helps you get a jump start. Like once you go through this course, it I keep saying this, it'll change your life and you will never go back to just writing. I can't write vanilla CSS. It's so stressful now because this is way more efficient and you can actually code way faster this way. So um, yeah, it is pretty good. Now, a few questions that I'm sure you might have. Um, do you need to buy anything? No, you don't. When your SAS can be coded, uh, can be compiled without paying for anything, it is not a premium uh, build, a build or a compiler. Um, it's, they're all free. The text editor is free. The compiler is free. They're all free, so you can do that. Um, the only thing that you might need to pay for in following this course would be Adobe XD, but um, if we're, we, it's not necessary. All you need to do is watch the video and you can see what I'm doing. It's not that important. I will provide an XD file, but if you don't want to download XD, if you don't have a subscription, that's fine. You can either try a trial or not at all because like I said, that's not the important thing. You need to learn SAS, not XD. The XD is just there to provide like a design proof. So that's it. You're not actually paying for anything to learn SAS. Um, do you need to know CSS? A little bit. You need so if you learn if you know CSS after this course, you'll know about the same level of CSS. But you can now take that CSS and do it more efficiently, and you'll have you'll you'll be learning 
you'll be learning a little bit more CSS, but it's not, that's not the point of this course. This point is to take what you know about CSS and putting it together in a whole different structure that will um, change how you style things from now on. And another thing is what kind of page builder do I use? I don't focus on a single page builder um, because I know there are people that use different, of course, everybody uses a different page builder. Everybody has their own page builder of choice, whether it's Oxygen, Divi, Elementor, uh, Avada, Visual Composer, whatever it is, Flatsum, whatever it is, what else is there? Beaver Builder, what Site Origin Page Builder, uh, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot, right? Um, I will be focusing, I will, I will have to show you, show you an example. So I've chosen to use Gutenberg because everybody has Gutenberg if you have WordPress. There's nothing else that you don't have, you know, even if you have WordPress. So I will be using Gutenberg, but I will show you how those principles apply to uh, whatever page builder you have or whatever page builder you use. That's what I'm going to be focusing on, not the Gutenberg aspect of it. All right. It's just an example on how to apply the knowledge that you have into WordPress. And even though it's compiled, I will show you how to um, hook it into WordPress directly. You can do it through a child theme. You can do it through your own custom theme, or you can do it through a plugin. If you're using Oxygen, you're going to have to use a plugin anyways, right? So there's a lot of different things that will be covered. And in the end, you will know how to write SAS and how to, it's, it's technically SCSS, but that everybody says SAS. You will know how to write SAS and you will know how to make it work in your WordPress website and it will change your life. All right. So join me and start learning and let's have some fun. All right. I'll see you there in the course. Bye.